Hi guys, my drink again is always in my hand. Welcome to Muncie Style. Today we're doing what? We're doing taste. And we are making homemade crab cakes. Easy and breezy. Here are the ingredients. So we have our chives and our cilantro and our Greek yogurt. I make mine with Greek yogurt. We have one pound of chlors and one pound of clumpy crab with our mustard sauce, Italian seasoning, which is your sauce, lemonade, and some breadcrumbs. And I mean lemon juice. And mix in a big bowl. Now let's get to cooking and making those crab cakes. So now we're going to mix our what? I love this. Yes. We are going to mix in our Greek yogurt. I don't use mayonnaise, most people use mayonnaise. So now we're going to take our one egg, throw that in. And now we're going to mix in our chives and cilantro, which is really easy. And the rest of the cilantro, I'm going to make rice cilantro for our side. So then we're gonna whisk in our Worcestershire sauce, our lemon juice, our mustard, which is honey mustard and regular yellow mustard. Get it all in there. Now I'm gonna mix in a little Italian seasoning that I like. So now I'm going to mix in my one pound of clump, but first squeeze out all of the water of the clump. And um, clump crab is usually white. Make sure you squeeze all the water out before you place it in. Okay? It's really simple. And it's okay, squeeze it out. And if you notice, I don't add salt or any other season because seafood is really salty so now I'm gonna add in the crab claws and the crab claws are usually dark meat which it has a little darker color to it so squeeze that out squeeze all of the water out because you don't want watery crab cakes that's gross it's really simple and easy if you spill on the counter it's okay it's your home yes this is Montes. Now let's fold that in with our hands. You have to get that egg in there mixed really nicely with all of your seasoning with your Worcestershire sauce and your mustard sauce and your Greek yogurt with your cilantro and chives. Let's get that in there. Really cool. Mix it nice and easy. So now you're gonna put that in the refrigerator for two hours. Clean up. Now, it's been two hours, let's make our patties after we've cleaned up. So take them and form them into a bowl inside your hand and place them down. They don't have to be perfect. Easy breezy. Place them on your board. You should at least get 12 crab cakes to serve a family. You can serve everyone three. So now let's fry them, get them seared. You just wanna sear them. You wanna brown them on top. That's simple. A little olive oil is what I use. It's up to you. If you see my rice there, that is my, going to be my cilantro rice. So now place them inside of your baking pan. Make sure that your oven is preheated to 350 or 375 because you want them to be nice and brown. So after you get them all in the baking pan, and it's okay if some of them are not brown because the oven will make them brown. So now that you have done all 12, let's place them inside of the oven for at least 20 minutes. Now we're going to take them out. It's been 20 minutes. Now let's plate. This is gonna be good with our cilantro okay, rice. Okay guys, now that my crab cakes are done, let's get to tasting. Doesn't that plate look great? 
don't y'all want some? I have some cocktail sauce, some mustard sauce. Oh, it's so great. Let's taste it, guys. Let's get to taste it. Mm. Look how flaky that looks. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Get a little mustard sauce. Mm. That's good. Mm. Mm. Let's try it with our rice. Mm. That's pretty good. Okay, guys. Hey, now, smile now. This is a Monty style. Same. This is really good. Gotta go. Crab cakes. Made in 30 minutes. Gotta go. Bye-bye. Don't forget to drink.